everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Friday. I have got my Pringle Candle Labor Day sale haul, which is pretty darn cool. It just came today. Um, I just realized I ordered nine candles, and it came to like under $50, which was really a good deal. <laughs> they were selling um, the small ones, I think, for $372. Um, the medium ones, the size for five something, and then I got a couple of the larger ones. These are like 618. Um, so it was, it was, I really feel like it was a good deal. So I'm going to go through the ones that I got and then give you my overall impression. I do also have my Kringle Halloween candles up here. <laughs> I love the Halloween candles, by the way. I just, I have to review some of those. So for those of you who are new to Kringle, Kringle was founded by the son of Mike Kittrich, who, oh, come here, Coco, the squirrel's going by. <laughs> Kringle was founded by the son of the Yankee Candle founder, Mike Kittredge, Um, because, as you all know, Yankee was kind of sold off to a conglomerate, and I think the family really wanted to bring candle making kind of like back home. So they started Kringle, and... Their jars are absolutely amazing. Like, I really feel like they go above and beyond with their design and craftsmanship on, like, this jar is so heavy. I love the design, too. I love the flat bottom, and I love the flat top. You can kind of, like, stack these pretty nicely on a shelf, which is pretty cool. And um, they're totally creative as far as the designs. I absolutely love that. And for the most part... They do use a white wax in most of their candles, I noticed. Um, their Halloween candles, the soy blends, they do have a gray wax. And um, their country candles, they use the colored wax. The country candles are in the jars that look like um, the Yankee jars. So they kind of have like two different lines. These are actually called their heritage. I think these are called the heritage lines. So anyway... But these were what was on sale for Labor Day, so I mostly got these. So the scents I got were Fresh Mint. And Fresh Mint, the scents on the, the scent notes are, this is, it's funny because I was actually hoping this one, no one has done like a really good, totally fresh, clean mint candle, except for Yankee, in my opinion. Yankee had a Fresh mint, like, and I don't even know if they still have it. I need to get one because I love mint. This one is more of an herbal mint. Um, this one is actually her herbiscus mint. I don't even know what that is. Tomato leaves, eucalyptus rose, sandalwood, vanillamine, and white cedar. And I didn't read the notes on these when I bought them because they were on sale. I just grabbed them. So um, this is not my favorite mint. It smells good, but it smells more herby to me. <laughs> So I'll have to burn this one. I'm curious as to what it is. And um, the reason I got these, too, was because I wanted to gift some of these. My mother-in-law's birthday is coming up. And um, so I'm not going to burn all of them because I'm using a bunch of them for a gift. Um, the next one that I have, this one I really like. This is the Coconut Snowflake. Check out that label. Isn't that pretty? Um, so Coconut Snowflake is snow laced peppermint, whipped buttercream, marshmallow fluff, shaved coconut, pure sugar cane, and vanilla bean. And this one smells, this one's definitely got like a hint of that, um, like just frosted minty coconut. It, these are super strong cold though. So I'm curious to see what these are like, um, when we burn them. Um, I'm not, I'm not getting like a huge cold scent. They smell really good though. So we got that one. Um, the other one that I have is the Pumpkin frosting one. This is the one I'm currently burning. And pumpkin frosting is pumpkin creamy frosting, cotton candy crystal, sweet vanilla, and anise, which I thought was interesting because I really like the smell of anise. Remember those anise candies and the bread wrappers we used to get? I can kind of smell this one starting to waft a little bit. I would say throw wise, just from from first lighting this one. Um that these have a light 
to medium throw. They kind of remind me of the Goose Creek in terms of the throw. I mean, I think Bath and Body Works definitely has the strongest throw right now of all the candles I've been burning. I mean, they definitely, um, especially, I mean, there are some Bath and Body Works ones that we've had like a light throw on, like that banana cream pie. Um, a lot of people have been having trouble with the warm apple pie as far as throw. But it also kind of depends on what you like. I am not someone who requires like a super strong throw to love a candle. I tend to prefer the light to medium throw a little bit better. And I will light like maybe two or three candles in a row. But I kind of like that like light scent that they give off. So I kind of like my candle style. <laughs> Um, next up is the Vanilla Latte. This one smells really good. Um, this one is a lot stronger. The cold on this one smells amazing. Definite, I love coffee candles. You know me and my coffee candles. I don't drink coffee, but I love, I, I can't wait. This one I'm keeping. Oh my gosh, this one smells amazing. I was going to compare that to the, the, the cold on the, um, the Scentworks one. It's funny, this one smells creamier. Um, I, I don't think, these are not a soy blend. I believe these are the paraffin ones. It's funny, it doesn't say on here, but I can just kind of tell from looking at the wax. These are a little bit more of that paraffin wax. The soy wax looks like creamier. You can kind of tell the difference. This is probably a blend. Oh my gosh, this one smells amazing. Okay, I'm going to be burning that one next. Um, then we've got, this is... Uh, what, what is this? Oh, brandied pumpkin. I think I didn't pull the, the notes up for all of these because they're not on the candle. That's one thing that I wish they would do is put the notes on the candle. They're all on, um, you have to look them up on the internet, <laughs> which is kind of like, <laughs> um, this one smells really good. These are single wicks, these smaller ones. I really like this one. This one, oh my gosh, you guys, I haven't smelled all of these. This one smells really good. This one has a stronger cold cold throw, too. This smells like that spicy punk, almost pumpkin spice, but you got that little brandy scent in there. I think I'm really going to like this one. Um, these larger ones, by the way, are a two wick. And then um, it's funny because one thing I wanted to point out, too, though, it's like they have this one on sale right now online. I mean, the, the retail on this is $20.95. And I believe this is just like a Christmas one. So I got it for $6. So they're Labor Day on sale. You got to watch for these sales. I am, I'm really big on sales. I don't buy anything unless it's on sale. <laughs> um, next up is Gilded Apple. This one is Amber, Apple, Lemon, Floral, Sandalwood, Musk, and Nutmeg. And it's funny. My mother smelled this one, and she really liked this one. I love the label, though. Isn't that nice and Christmassy? Are we really moving towards Christmas, you guys? Like, it's not even Halloween. This one is like a, if you like like those floral apples, you're probably going to really like this one. It matches my shirt, by the way. This is more of a floral apple. The throw on this one, um, the cold the cold sniff is really nice on that one, too. Um, and then I got three of their smaller candles. Now, the smaller ones online are actually, they're kind of pricey. Um, they're $14.95. Like, I would never in a million years pay $14.95 for a small candle like this. That's why I said, like, if it's not on sale, I don't buy it. <laughs> um, these are cute little jars, though. I like these little jars. These are the colored jars. Okay, so Concord Grape is Concord Grape, Grapevine, Grape Juice, um, and Vineyard Air, and I did, I did sneak a smell of this one. Oh my gosh, I love this one. You know, it's funny, years ago, I did have a grape candle from Yankee, and I burned it. I don't, I, I really wish I had kept that one, because I am such a fan. I love grape juice. I am like, I love grape anything. And this one, it's not super strong. I'm hoping it burns stronger, but man, I love anything with a grape scent. That is awesome. Um, the other two that I got, this one is called Holiday Cookies, which reminds me exactly of the Yankee Christmas cookie. Um, but I was like, cool, I got some Christmas candles for $3. <laughs> so that was exciting. And the last one I got was the Buttered Rum Toddy. And 
Bath and Body Works had a hot buttered rum. They usually bring. I love that. Oh my gosh. And this, these are these are not as strong either. It's funny. I can still smell it. the The strongest cold scents, for some reason, are on these mid sized candles, and I don't know why. It's just kind of interesting to me that these are really strong. Um, but the smaller ones and the bigger ones aren't quite as strong. Gosh, that this coffee one is amazing, you guys. Holy moly, I love the coffee ones. Um. So just from gathering this, I've been burning this not too long. Um, totally clean burn. Um, I'm not getting any soot off this at all. No mushrooming. These wicks are gorgeous. And I didn't even trim these before I started. But the wicks, um, that's one thing that I've been kind of annoyed with lately um, with Bath and Body Works a little bit is that for some reason, those thick wicks are mushrooming. They're okay if you snip them down, but like... They're getting like that that weird mushrooming, and I don't know why <laughs> they're doing that this year, but it's kind of annoying. But um, I don't know if you can see. You probably can't. Um, I hate to blow this out with um, not having a, a really good wax bowl, but I'm going to just to show you guys. No soot whatsoever. None. I mean, we're talking not an ounce of soot. But check out those wicks. I mean, there is not even a tiny bit of mushrooming or grossness or soot on these wicks. And it's funny because these are like pure white candles down in here. Um, and there is not one little tiny speck of soot or blackness, even when I dip the wick. So I'm, I'm like quality wise, I'm thinking these are really, really nice in terms of the burn. I love, it smells really good though. I bet if I burn this down and got like a, you know, a good half inch, inch, okay, I just froze, um, I bet if I burn this down and got, like, a good inch wax pull on this one, I bet you anything I'd get the, the really nice wafting smell, I didn't burn this one too long, oh, gosh, that smells really good, so anyway, um, my overall impression of my Kringle haul is, yay me, <laughs> I got them on sale, <laughs> and I would definitely order from them again, um, with another sale. I would never, like I said, pay retail. I did, however, pay retail on Halloween because these are totally collectible. And to me, it's like a really special line. Um, I, don't, I almost even want to burn these. They're so pretty. These are the Kringle Halloweens. Um, I just kind of want to keep them, but I, I will burn them and, and review um, a couple of these. But these are like, I feel like a fun Halloween collectible to get. But just as, like, a day-to-day -day burning candle, I would never pay, like, over $20. I would want to, you know, get those on sale. Um, the throw is light to medium on these for me. Um, cold sniff is mixed. Um, part of them I'm getting, like I said, a strong cold sniff. Some of them aren't as strong. Um, they tend to use a lot of scent notes in these. Like, it's not just, like, one scent. It's, like... I mean, on this fresh mint, I really just wanted a fresh mint candle. I just wanted mint. <laughs> but I got like eight different scents, which is fine. And I may like this one once I burn it, but there's definitely a lot going on in this candle. <laughs> so um, I'm going to give Kringle a 9 out of 10. That's my rating. Because um, I think they're probably comparable in my opinion to like the Goose Creek ones which I love I mean like I said but you know me I'm a Bath and Body Works girl through and through but I love trying all different candles I ha I do have a wood wick that I'm gonna like test out for you guys pretty soon and there's another brand of candles that I really like and it's called Root Candles and they're actually here in Ohio so I need to pick up a Root Candle um they sell them at a grocery store because I want to try, those are so strong. I mean, those are like, you can smell them across the grocery store. <laughs> so anyway, um, in general, like I said, I love trying out new candles, but I, I, I am pretty brand selective. There's like five, six, seven brands probably that I like. I tend not to buy um, any like generic candles. Like I was in Hobby Lobby the other day and um, they've got like their Hobby Lobby branded candles and um, they're all like poured in Vietnam. I mean, not that that means anything, but I, I do tend to like the, the poured, the made in the USA candles. It's just like a personal preference of mine. Um, 
Joanne does a decent brand with their Hudson 46, and um, but for the most part, you know, I, I try and stick to like the brands that I, I really love, which are I really love those Goose Creeks. I love you know the Bath and Body Works, you know the Kringle. I want to try some Woodwicks, the Yankees. So that's probably the most of what you guys will be seeing from me <laughs> through fall and Christmas. And then when spring comes, I'm very picky about my spring candles. I'm not a floral girl. Remember that. So there better be some foodie scents coming up in the spring. Because <laughs> I like the foodie scents. Boy, this is a long video. I was just chatting all over today. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did get the Kringles for the Labor Day sale, let me know what you thought of yours. Um, I'm really curious. But like I said, the price the price was on. <laughs> Thank you so much. I might do a candle review later today, Friday night candle review. I'm going to decide what I'm going to do. If I'm going to do a Bath and Body Works, I'm going to do a Kringle, Goose Creek. <laughs> I'm going to decide. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.